It's uninteresting. It's dull. Boring. I wouldn't go, mate, if I were you. You're wasting your time. There's nothing to see there. It's flat. It's just a shipwreck. What do you see here? Some people to see a shipwreck. But some people see something more. Something that's older than you or I. Some people see a 120 year old wooden carcass wanting to tell your tale. If only you'd let it. I see an opportunity to explore, educate, and dig deep into my local area's rich history and expand my knowledge. I see an opportunity to put boots on the ground, get some fresh air, some fresh sea air, some exercise, and I see an opportunity to tell the boat's story over a century later. Believe me, I didn't always think like this. And like everything in life, what you see and how you see it all depends on your perspective. There are so many benefits to changing how you speak to yourself. Seeing things laterally is a great place to start, but I'll explain all that later on. But for now, you'll just have to trust me that she's not simply just a shipwreck. A quick investigation opened up a whole scurvy swerving tin can of worms and revealed some fascinating information surrounding the history of the boat. Her name was the Abana. Our first stop on this journey is at the beginning of the end for the Abana. On the 22nd of December 1894, the Abana a Norwegian cargo ship carrying over 500 tons of ballast set sail from Liverpool, England to Florida, USA when she was caught in one of the most treacherous storms ever recorded on the Fylde coast at that time. The Irish Sea is no joke. She's a cruel mistress with a continuous thirst for destruction. The Ibana was spotted at 3 o'clock in the afternoon drifting in a northwesterly direction with the sails ripped to shreds. The crew mistook the unfamiliar and newly built Blackpool Tower for a lighthouse, and the ship was spotted rapidly taking on water near the North Pier. Flares were fired, and the lifeboat was called. And legend has it that she struck the North Pier, and the impact resulted in her rapid decline. The Ibana ended up drifting north and was wrecked off Little Bispam at 5 o'clock, where the remains still lay to this day. All 17 crew members of the Ibana and the captain's dog were rescued and taken to the Red Lion Inn, on situated on All Hallows Lane, Bispam. There they exchanged stories, drank beer and recovered from their experiences. During this research, the investigation revealed more facts. And one quick phone call took me somewhere I'd never normally go. St Andrew's Church, located on Russell Road, Cleveland, situated a mile and a half from where the ship laid down to rest. And it revealed more fascinating details that you will not be able to find on the internet. The church was built six years after the Abana went down in 1900 and the internal roof was designed around the idea of an upside down boat in homage to the sunken vessel. The Abana ship's bell was grabbed in the rescue by one of the crew members and donated to the landlord of the Cleveland's Hotel as a gift. 
The landlord donated the bell to the church, where it still hangs to this day. When you look at it now, do you still just see a shipwreck? Let's have a look at what she looks like in the year 2021. I'll be quiet for a while and let you enjoy photographic explore, but please stick around for this episode's conclusion as it might be slightly different than you think. No shit, the sands of time had a go at pulling me down. I seriously shat my pants. But it ain't my time. I've still got shit to do. Our last destination is the Shipwreck Memorial on Cleveley's Promenade, where the Abana's name remains forever engraved in the history books, alongside many others lost to the Irish Sea. But it's here where I want to tell you something. This episode is for those struggling with negative thoughts. The thing is, I almost didn't make this video. I almost listened to those negative words at the start of this episode. Those words was said by someone else. I'm glad I didn't listen. Just imagine if those vessels' names on that monument were actually your hopes and dreams, sunk by the very words you tell yourself. Those negative words that you stop you moving forward, halting your opportunity to explore, create and grow. Your words are your weather. 
and your waves. But unlike the waves in the sea, deep down, you have the power to calm those waves and stop them from sinking you. Yeah, of course, changing your thought pattern is going to take time, but anything worthwhile doing does. Just don't give up. This episode is wholeheartedly dedicated to a close friend who is currently navigating treacherous waves that have got way too big and fast to calm alone. If you're listening, mate, I do believe you'll reach a new place where your mind can start fresh, where you can learn to think differently, a place you can be a new version of yourself, a place where you can feel content. Right now, each wave you face is going to hurt, but everyone after is going to hurt slightly less. Be brave, bud. Be strong. Stay consistent. You'll get there. Peace. Music, as always, by the nautical Nate Connolly. Drone work by Scruffy Diamond. Links to both the channels can be found below. Please consider supporting this channel by liking, subscribing, and ringling dingling my rusty bell. And if you're interested, please visit my Etsy shop where you can purchase prints and colour presets for Capture One and Adobe software from all the videos that I've created. If you like any of the colour grading or any of the shots, hit a brother up and let me know. And if there's something that's not on the Etsy store, let me know and I'll put it on. Cheers for watching. Peace.